page. Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet the boxed puff stitch. So there's only a two row repeat and it looks like this with this beautiful texture. And as the name says, boxed puff stitches. So these long double crochet stitch looks like they are boxing out the puff stitches. You can probably see it a little bit better here. Okay, let's get started. So this pattern is in multiples of three plus two. So start with a slip knot. I'm just going to crochet sample here. One, two, three. Okay, so I have my multiples of three. I'm going to chain two more. One, two. Okay, so for our foundation row, I'm going to work into the fifth chain from the hook. So this here is your first stitch. That's your first stitch from the hook. This loop around the hook does not count. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I like to place my finger right before this fifth stitch or after, however you want to look at it. And so that I know that's where I'm going to work my stitch. And the first stitch we're going to work is a puff stitch. So to work a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that fifth stitch. I'm just going to go through two loops. You can go through what, whichever loop you'd like. Just keep it consistent. Then I'm going to pull up a loop. So you want to yarn over and then pull up a loop. And make sure that's a tall loop. About the same height as this one because this is your turning chain right here. Okay, so we're going to do that three more times. A total of four times to get nine loops on our hook. So yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. One more time, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, so you should have nine loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Chain one to secure. Okay, so this these chain stitches that we skipped, this is going to count as one double crochet and a chain two, and you'll see how that works out the further you move along the pattern. Okay, so now we're going to repeat. We're going to skip two stitches, and then we're going to work into the third, and all into this stitch, we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and a puff stitch. That's, that's the set that you're going to work into this stitch here. So work your double crochet first, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so there's your double crochet, chain two, one, two, into the same stitch, we're working our puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we're doing that four times, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Make sure you pull that loop tall, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Last time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you should have nine loops, yarn over and pull through all nine loops on your hook. Chain one to secure. So you're going to repeat that across, skip two and work your set of double crochet, chain two and puff stitch into the next. And you're going to repeat that until you have three stitches left. And you'll skip two and then just one double crochet into the last stitch. And I'm going to skip two and then work into the third stitch. Okay, since I'm making a small sample, I have 
come to the end with the three stitches I'm going to skip to the chain stitches and then work just one double crochet into the last okay that's row one row two you're going to chain one and turn and we're skipping this first stitch we're going to work down here there are two stitches that we skipped it's going to be the second skipped stitch so if you look at it from this way it's one two so the second skipped stitch is the one closest to the double crochet it's the first stitch after the double crochet so we're going to work a long double crochet stitch and to work that you're going to yarn over and then insert your stitch into that very first stitch the instructions will say into the second skipped stitch. Then you yarn over, pull up a loop. My working yarn is still behind my work. Make sure you pull up a tall loop. So this is a long double crochet stitch. Okay, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, okay? Now we're going to work one single crochet right on top of the puff stitch. That's that's the chain one that you secured your puff stitches with. Just one single crochet. And then into the chain two space, you're going to work one single crochet. So insert your hook into the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. If you do need basic crochet tutorials, I will link that in the corner. Okay, so we're going to repeat one long double crochet into the second skipped stitch going this direction so it's the first stitch here yarn over find the first stitch here in the previous row i don't know if i sit round earlier i made a beanie using this stitch so i and i was working in the round i have my tall double crochet stitch here yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two one single crochet on top of the puff stitch one single crochet into the chain two space one long double crochet stitch into the skipped stitch here closest to the double crochet yarn over insert your hook into that stitch down there yarn over pull up a tall loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so I'm at the end, I'm going to work one single crochet on top of this puff stitch. And then the last single crochet is going to work between the turning chain and the puff stitch. Okay, so that is pretty much your repeat. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, alternatively, you can work a chainless double crochet and a chain two because that's what this counts as one double crochet into chain two. So turn your work, one puff stitch into the same stitch. One, two, three, four. So remember when we worked these clusters into the same stitch, it was one double crochet, chain two, and one puff. So that's what this is. One double crochet for the first three chains, chain two, and one puff. Like I said, alternatively, you can work a chainless double crochet. Okay, we're going to skip two. So this is just like the foundation row, except you're starting with your chaining of the five stitches. You skip two into the next. You're going to work your set of double crochets, chain two, and puff stitch. So one, two, into the third. Here's my double crochet, chain two. And then one puff stitch into the same stitch. Two, three, and four. Make sure you have your nine loops. Skip two into the third, double crochet, chain two, and then your puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. At the end, we're going to skip two and one double crochet into this last stitch here, and then we're ready for this repeat here, which is the single crochet and long double crochet stitch, chain one and turn. 
we're skipping this stitch here into the closest skipped stitch down in the previous round or row you want to work your long double crochet stitch okay, okay so right in there pull up a tall loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two one single crochet on top of the cluster or i mean the puff stitch one single crochet into the chain two space and then repeat one long double crochet stitch into this skipped stitch here closest to the double crochet single crochet into the puff and the chain two space okay i always like to work my last single crochet just right into this space here Okay, so those are the repeat. So go ahead and repeat those two rows until you're happy with your size. And I recommend stopping after the long double crochet row just so you can kind of finish off um, the repeats so that it's consistent. Okay, so I'm working the puff stitch row again and I'm going to show you quickly. Instead of working the chain five, you can work a chainless double crochet. So turn your work, don't chain any stitches. So down here we worked a chain five, which counted as the double crochet and the chain two. So you can work a chainless double crochet. You're going to pull this up about as tall as your double crochet. So that's what, like an inch, about an inch. And then you're going to place your finger here so that it doesn't slip off. Bring your hook forward around that loop back here and then back to the stitch here. So right into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop keep your finger on that loop on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay so that's your double crochet now you're going to chain two and work a puff stitch into the same stitch so instead of working the chain five for your double crochet and chain two you can just work your chainless double crochet and then you chain two when you come back around, you're going to one single crochet right into the top of that chainless double crochet. So down here, I just went right through the space. It's much easier to work through the chainless double crochet. Whatever you do, just keep it consistent so that um, it looks uniform. <laughs> okay, skip two. Just going to work a couple of more repeats and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so this is my chainless double crochet. I just wanted to show you that you would just insert your hook into the top. So that's where I would work my last single crochet. So I'm just going to fasten off there. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And this is the Finley slouch that I'm working on. And um, this is worked in the round. And I am going to be calling for testers. I may already have this in testing when this video is released. So leave a comment in the description box below and let me know if you'd like a tutorial on how to work this stitch in the round. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.